I'm heading over to go see Jeff and his cat, Buster, who is really aggressive. Now, Jeff is a well-known celebrity photographer who works out of his home, and his clients are threatening to never come back because they're getting attacked. On top of that, his best friend and assistant, Jesse, who's worked with him for four years, often has the task of handling this aggressive cat, and I had better get over there quickly. I'm Jeff. I'm Jesse. I'm Jeff's assistant. And I'm a photographer. And we've been friends and coworkers for four years. I have a cute little cat named Buster. He's not cute. He can be. He will claw your face out. No. He's mean, he growls, he scratches, he claws, and he just looks mean. Buster is not the worst cat in the world. But he's so evil to you. I resent you for saying that half the time. I become angry with you even saying that. Look what your cat did. Oh my God. When Buster came into my life, he was this cute little ball of fur. It was love at first sight. I fell in love with him. He became a little bit more erratic, maybe, in That's his friendliness. That's too nice friendliness. of a word. No, he became Satan. Don't say that. I get defensive. Oh my god. Not only Jeff's house, but his place of business. It's worrisome when he shoots here, because if he interacts with anyone, I mean, they're at risk for getting swatted. Are you sure? That looks great, though, if you... Just be careful. I would never give him up. That's just not an option. Both of our jobs are at stake. You know, I try not to think about this. I try not to future trip but about you it. You really. should think about this, because if nothing changes, oh, okay. I might have to find another job. Hey. Hey. How are you? I'm Jackson. Jeff. Nice to meet you. Jeff, good in. to meet you, man. Hi, I'm Jesse. Good nice to meet you. Too. So, tell me about Buster. I love him to, to bits. I oh, mean, I that's really That's always do. a bad start. That means that nobody else does. Right? Nobody else does. See, I knew it. I'm the only one that can touch him. You can hear him growling across the room, and then once you approach, he's just <laughs> When I first got here, he bit me probably the worst he's ever done. Are you kidding? Um, all right. How? I have a scar right Good. here, and that's from him. God. Jessie didn't just have a few scratches. She had scars. This is her place of business, too, and Buster's aggression is putting her in real danger. Think about this. That bike gets infected. She winds up in the hospital on IV antibiotics. She's not coming back here anytime soon. You know, my concern is that it will compromise work relationships. Just be careful. It's actually a very serious problem. It makes it hard to work here. I'm not so sure I want to keep working here. I hate it. I hate it. Now, normally, one of the first go-to things is to say, when your clients come over, put the cat in the bedroom. It took one quick look around here to know that it's a studio. So what you're stuck with putting him in the bathroom. I don't want to have him in the bathroom all day. You know, as a photographer, I shoot a lot of portraits, and that can go for hours on end. That's just not fair to him. Mm -hmm. I want him to be happy. I'm trying to provide him with a good life. Yeah. It's so great. Jeff's my kind of guy. He says that his commitment is to this cat for the life of this cat. He has no intention of, quote, getting rid of Buster at all. And that's great, and I'll work hard for the guy. All right, guys, let's come on over here. Whoa. Message received, buddy. I'll keep my distance. We're gonna leave him there for just a second and, uh, and just take in the space. And there's the space. This is it. Yeah, this is this it. This is me. Here's the problem. There's really no cat stuff in here. Believe me, I run into this issue a lot with my clients where there's just this overwhelming fear uh, about turning your house into this cat jungle gym. However, cats need to take ownership of their environment, and they do this by having stuff on which to climb and spread their scent. When they don't have this, bad stuff happens. So now, here's what we're gonna do, is I'm gonna come in here as I'm talking to you, and I'm just gonna sit, I'm not gonna make eye contact with him whatsoever. He sees me as a threat even though I'm not even looking at him right now. What I'm trying to figure out from him is, I call it his challenge line. At what point does he go from being okay to decidedly not okay. 